suffering people. Greetings, dear viewers. My name is Catherine Judith Lerium, a member of Gulu Archdiocese. I'm here to present the life history of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, a document by Aurelio Boscaini. Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, the healing man of God. My name is Giuseppe Ambrosoli. I'm from Ronago, province of Como. I've just graduated in medicine and my desire is to make my profession available for the benefit of the missions. I ask if it is possible for a doctor to become a priest in your institute and if one, after entering, is certain of going to the missions to exercise the double profession of priest and doctor there. It was the summer of 1949. It was with these words that the young Dr. Ambrosoli in, introduced himself to Father Simeon Zanoga, superior of the Comboni missionary in Sebio, in Rebio di Como, like that. The Comboni are made precisely for the mission, and it is therefore absolutely no more to live. Guaranteed, was Father Simeon replied. If so, replied Guiseipe. I will ask to enter, but first I will go to London for a course in tropical medicine. Thus began the missionary adventure of the one who became the great Dr. Brajoli, Dr. of Acholi of Uganda. Unmistakable honey flavor. Guisepe Ambrosoli was born on the 25th July 1923 from Giovanni Battista and Valley Palmyra in Ronago, a charming village in the province of Como, close to the Swiss border. The father was the Ambrosoli who had the intuition, placing some hives at the bottom of the garden of the house, not to create an industry, but simply to have good and genuine honey for himself and the family. But then things were going well with flattering results in, the terms, in terms of quality and quantity. And so there is honey and honey and then unmistakable flavor, flavor of Ambrosoli honey. Father Guisepe family was formed on 23rd September 1906 in the parish of San Bartolomeo in Como with the celebration wedding of Ambrosoli Giovanni Battista of Francesco and Valley Palmira of, of Constantino. Giovanni Battista was 23 years, 24 years old and Palmira 23 years. A happy marriage that will see the birth of eight children, six boys and two girls. Guisepe occupied seventh place. And large families are a joy for the church as Pope Francis says. What kind of person was his father, Ambrosoli, to make of his company a family in which everyone worked together with great cordiality and solidarity? The first and affectionate collaborators of the company were the children of his farmers. A mother who knew how to bring up her children. The task of educating Giuseppe and brothers was carried out in particular by Mother Palmira. True are the words written on the little picture at the moment of her death. She was for her loved ones, for all an evangelical witness, a gift of grace, a blessing. In the letters that Father Giuseppe used to write to his family, his mother's M was always capitalized. Many mothers then lived by mature faith, made up of good and hard working charity and solidarity like that expressed by the rural world. And the children, of course, with their mother's milk, took on that common Christian feeling of it, made up of essential values. At his mother's school, we say learns to live simplicity, to live in simplicity, a kind of natural spontaneous humility. When he grows up, he will recognize its values because humility is the gift of a true intelligence and understanding of things. 
Mama Palmyra also educated him in morning and evening prayers and in the daily in recitation of the Holy Rosary. These are traits that Giuseppe never lost during his years of mission and even in that most difficult days in the hospital in Kalongo. Many will see him reciting the rosary then. As a university student, he found it normal to leave fresh bread and honey still soft for his brothers. All he needed was the bread left from the day before and the honey to scrape off at the bottom of the jar. So also in Africa, lunch was served to the guest. And after lunch, he would say, Sister Santina, he is educated not to waste anything, to be thrifty, but never stingy. He was formed into that moder moderation and self-limitation that would accompany him throughout his life. No one will ever see him, for example, enter an African restaurant to have some food. His lunch will always be the sandwich he had prepared before setting out on the road. We'll continue from there next time. Oh,